Welcome back guys to another Destiny 2 video. We are doing our This Week at Destiny. Let's see what's in store for this week. If we go to Crucible, we have our Elimination, we have our Rumble, we have our Momentum Control. Now for those of you that missed it in week one for the actual season of The Lost, this is back, you need 75 kills. Go in, get them and complete your trial. You also have Iron Banner this week, which is pretty sweet. We'll go check out Lord Saladin in just a minute. And just like that, we are at the Iron Lord's Lord Saladin. This so fury. this time he has the four pinnacle bounties again. You need to defeat opponents, assist or kill. You need to defeat opponents while your team holds zone advantage. So two zones or more. And you need to get victory banners, complete matches in the Iron Banner playlist, wins award, bonus progress. So you can lose and still progress along with this. So, so far these are all fairly simple. This one here, defeat opponents in the Iron Banner, earn bonus progress by landing final blows on opponents with a higher power level. So you don't just have to defeat higher power level enemies, but you do get bonus progress for it. That's pretty much it, so if we pick these up, because it is the Iron Banner, and we do want to get these Pinnacle Rewards. Next we come to Banshee, let's see what his wares is in stock. So we have the Cold Denial, which is actually really good, Feeding Frenzy and Headseeker. Headseeker essentially, you shoot two shots into the body, you get bonus damage to the head if you shoot, if you get the headshot. Feeding Frenzy is a watered down version of Outlaw, it just gives you a faster reload consistently, just not as fast as Outlaw. We've got Toil of Trouble, which is another good one. You've got a full auto trigger system here and auto loading holster, always good for shotguns. Gnawing Hunger, not great. Cartesian Coordinate, again, not great. We had a better one previous weeks. Falling Guillotine. This one gives Relentless Strikes and Whirlwind Blade. This is a god roll. 100% you want to pick this up. If you haven't picked this up yet, this is the weapon you want to pick up. This is amazing. Relentless Strikes, you hit 3-4 times and then you hit Whirlwind Blade and get maximum damage. This is absolutely, without a shadow of doubt, the best roll for this sword. Pick it up. Now that you've got the chance, it's not every day a god roll drops. This is a god roll. It's you know there's there's nothing else to say to this. You can increase the sharpness, and you also have impact on the actual weapon, increasing the actual damage it can do. Masterwork this weapon. It is good. If we look at this one here, landing free light attack hits within a short time grants sword ammo. Rapid sword strike increases this weapon damage for a short duration. Guarding also ends the effect. So while you're hitting this three times or four times, you're getting your ammo back and then you're going straight into whirlwind and then you're re doing your free light attacks, doing that damage, getting your ammo back and then going into whirlwind again. It's a really, really solid weapon and you absolutely want this. Finally, we have the grenade launcher and there's nothing much special here. Okay, this week we come to the new seasonal trials. We're at complete 45 out of 55. If we go in, now as I said, I missed this one out in the first week. So now I'm able to get this with this week's Crucible. However, if we go to week six, I've already completed one. Gather parallax trajectories from playlists or astral alignment activities or from ascendant anchors found on destinations and in shattered realm activity so let's claim that one already but what else do we have we have the wayfinder voyage 6 wayfinder voyage 6 completed this is the quest for the week you also need to defeat a number of scorn again if you defeat them within the astral alignment you will get bonus progress we have solar fusion power defeat combatants with fusion rifles and solar melee attacks combatants defeated in the shattered realm activity will grant bonus progress this one's really easy just melee and fusion rifle display of dominance acquired a crucible ornament for ascendancy this is a quest that you need to do so pick up the quest and get the ornament Sling the stone, stagger, pierce, or disrupt champions. It's fairly simple. You're just going to be go. You literally just want to go on a champion hunt. Hero nightfalls are probably going to be the best thing for this. They are match made, and you can find plenty of them in there. 
just stagger, pierce, or disrupt. It's that simple, you know. By pierce, they mean the barrier. Disrupt, they mean um, unstoppable. And stagger is overload. So it doesn't matter how you do it, just do it. Advanced Ley Liner. Complete rounds of astral alignment and install paracausal batteries. Simple enough. Apex Armorer. Masterwork, a piece of armor. I wish this was actually the retrospective. I literally just did this on a piece of exotic gear. It's okay though, I've got some more great exotic pieces that I can masterwork, so this should be nothing difficult. Again, a fairly simple week. This week's Wayfinder's Voyage has you going through the usual steps and astral alignment. Then you have to go through the actual Shattered Realm, which we are now on the third cycle. So make sure you collect all your caches and all your triumphs because next week's is going to be the final one for the actual story. And it will, in fact, be the first week of the cycle for us to collect the triumphs and the caches we couldn't collect. We also now have unlocked everything on the Wayfinder's Compass and that should now fully enable you to access everywhere and everything within each of the Shattered Realms. Obviously we're still going to continue within the Shattered Realms so even if you miss something this week, don't worry about it because you can get back to it in the following weeks. It's just on a three week cycle so the sooner you get the stuff done within the Shattered Realm, the better really. So yeah, try to get it done this week and hopefully you'll uh, be done with that in no time at all. This week's Astral Attunement allows you to increase the duration of the Safe Passage buff, which is extremely valuable this week. I actually got a number of stuff this week without this buff and it was touch and go because it's only 10 seconds. This should hopefully give you that much needed extra time in order to reach those longer distances and collect those chests that you need to do. My advice would be to actually go through the first time, complete everything you need to complete, just blitz through the first Shattered Realm, collect your Astral Attunement, and then go back in and collect all the stuff afterwards. Don't try to do it on the first time like I did, you'll just suffer much unnecessary frustration. If we check out the Eververse selection on store this week, we have It's Over. Nothing special there. We have the Queen's Guard. If you've got the shotgun for this, this is actually a really nice ornament. I think it's actually worth the 1250. You've got the Cabal Entrance, nothing special there. You've got the Hazard Pay, if you like it, go for it. I think it's Anything a bit pricey want. at 300 Bright Dust. Then we come to the actual items. We've got Drumroll. It seems to be persistent, pretty sweet. We have the Nameen Greaves. These are for Titan. Looking pretty snazzy. Not my style, but it's all right. Orb Weaver Shell. Again, these are just cosmetic at this point because you can apply anything you want here. We've got the Immoderate Splendor. Again, I don't really like this design where you sit on it in that way. But for those of you that do, it's not a bad looking sparrow. We have Bye Bye. That could be a decent crucible one. Bad Dog, Leviathan's Breath. This is a returning one. I remember this when it first came out. It's, yeah, not for me. No but hey, you might like it. Aramis Projection. And that's that. Next we have the Eldritch Effects. That's actually not too shabby. We have the Illicit Transmit Effects. Traveler's Wake Effect. That's probably one of my favorite ones. Rustberry. Carbon Blood. That's actually really nice. I actually really like that. Like really, really like that. It looks good on the weapon. It looks good on the armor. Oh God, it's, it's gonna actually make me spend 300 Bright Dust on that one. Verdigris. No. 
I know some of you are going to like it, but no. Buffer Overflow. I do remember this, and it's not as good as the previous one, but it's, it, it's, it's alright. Still, the highlight for me has to be Carbon Blood. That looks sexy. That just looks too good. And that's pretty much this week at Bungie. I hope you found this useful and informative. Take it easy, and I will see you next week. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you look over to the left, you'll find a video that I'm recommending to you that I think you might actually enjoy. On the right, you'll see a video that is recommended by YouTube. I really do hope you enjoyed the video, and until the next one, remember to always remain legend.